Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, tonight's gonna be probably a short video. I don't know. Um, gonna show you something I got for Christmas that I have not opened yet, actually. Um, this is a video where I said it was related to the hobby, but it's not a blaster or blaster parts per se. Um, but here it is. I got the Ultimate Nerf Blasters book. I guess that was made by Nerf. <laughs> um, I have uh, Luke's um, modding book. I thought this would be a good addition to go with it. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> comes with six uh, uh, camouflage darts. Um, but I think this is gonna be like an encyclopedia. Probably just some Nerf blasters, of course. Um, it'd be nice if they had one where it included like all of them, like, you know, Adventure Forest, Dark Zone, 3D printed, um, but, you know, the hobby keeps growing and it's really hard to keep up. You'd have to make, um, well, you'd have to make different volumes, I guess. <laughs> hmm. That's a good idea. Uh, if anybody wants to do that yet, that idea, go for it. I'll buy it. <laughs> You know, to start with volume one being, I guess, what we have up to date now that's popular in everything, you know, Nerf and uh, Adventure Forest, Dart Zone, and in the community. And then, um, so from like now back to like maybe 2000 or even uh, 1990, and then um, in like five years time, you, you know, do the other... Uh, Stuff that's to come, I guess. That's pretty cool. It's very clean. We'll say that. Let's see what's in here. Okay. <laughs> so this whole thing is just for the tarts. I like this honeycomb pattern. It's a nice pattern. By Nathaniel Mar Marunas? Marunas? So, acknowledgments. Uh, so, we have the introduction, basically, just probably just talking about, uh, you know, what foam flinging is, I guess, what kind of ammo, light blasters, medium, heavy, and then accessories. Uh, foam power time light, that'd be interesting to see. I'm just gonna flip through this pretty quick because I'll probably read about it in depth. Nah. There we go, the first uh, nerve product, the ball, up here. That was back in 1960? Yeah. Then we have the um, Sharpshooter 2.0, which I I have. Um, you know, the Blast Ball, Cyber Strike line. I loved this line when I was a kid. It was so fun, so different. They need what they need to do is instead of inventing the crap that's coming out, like that has been coming out for like the last three years, they need to go back and bring some of the old ideas back into this day and age, because people would buy it. <laughs> Especially people that were when they were kids, they didn't get that item. They can get it now, <laughs> and they would. Okay, so you got the. The big Titan rocket up there, you got the Retaliator, of course, you got Vortex. Okay. A lot of types of ammo. So you got suction darts, tag, elite, different kind of elite. Yeah, kind of looks like Omega and some Vortex discs. Yeah, go through all those. It's nice that they have really big pictures of everything. Oh, they actually have schematics of how much uh, each kind of dart is. That's pretty cool. So this, these are the light blasters. So you got the jolt, of course, and the small ones like the reflex and the trio, fire strike, fire, all the different kinds of fire strikes. So I think this is the one that we have out now. Uh, if you can find them, this was the basically the element version. Uh, then they had a clear one, a whiteout, and a sonic series. I wouldn't mind finding a white one. That'd be pretty sick. And then, of course, you got the uh, fan favorite Maverick. Let's see, I have the blue one. 
I have the white one. I kind of want to get a clear one though. One day. One day. And a strong arm. And I'm going to guess. Okay, so like a stockade kind of thing. Oh, well, right here. Yeah. They're barricade stockade. They're basically the same thing. Just one didn't come with a, a stock. <laughs> There's all your Vortex stuff. I have some of them, but not all of them, because, eh. <laughs> then you got your Dark Tag stuff, where it comes with the um, Velcro kind of things. So to stick to your the vest that came with it and probably your clothes. I think the only one I have, the only blaster that I have of these is, I'm not seeing it. At least not yet. No, well, it's not in here. But I have the, um, what is it, the Swarm Fire and the, uh, I forget what it's called, the Dark Tag, the little red blaster. And you got your Raven. So this is like your main arms, the uh, O Lovable Deploy, which I modded and painted. Your Alpha Trooper, your bows, um, your Recon slash Retaliators. Yep. Always came with extra accessories. There's your Firefly, bar uh, Barrel Break. Oh, that's cool. They explain all this stuff. I really like how clean this is. Rough cut, of course. The Strife, which is probably their best blaster ever, just for modding purposes and from the way that it works and accessories that you put on it and everything. Uh, they got more Vortex stuff. I have the Praxis. What's the difference with this one? Just it didn't come with a stock? It looks like it, yeah. Oh, this is the kind I have for Dark Tag. Yeah, the Hyper Fire. I have that, but in a red one, I guess. Uh, yeah. So these are the heavy blasters. And of course, it's not going to have every single one of them, because, like I said, somebody needs to make a book with all of them, like an encyclopedia. <laughs> but there's your Raider. The Long Shot, of course, which we just modded. Um, I think, so, the first one that came out was yellow. And then the, what was it, the blue, and then the zombie, I think. Um, and I have one of the blue and the zombie one. Um, they, re, they, you know, they re-released the yellow one. I didn't see any point in buying it because I had two already. I was like, yeah. There's your long, sh uh, long strike, rather, uh, your raider. I'm trying to think if I ever had one of these. I'm not positive. I don't think I did. Well, wait, no. I think originally I had the Scout and the Titan Rocket, you know, 30-something years ago. I don't think I ever had that one, which is weird. And then, of course, the uh, Stampede there. The Vulcan. Yeah, I remember the design process for the Vulcan was like really tough. And you can see here. 50 yard drum they started with. Ooh. And then they went to a chain. They could have probably stuck with a drum. I mean, because we have a 50 yard drum now, but it's for the, um, uh, what is it, the Titan? Um, so, yeah, because if you had a couple of these drums, um, you know, like in a bag on your back, and this was just like your only blaster, you just use it up, you know, throw, toss it in the bag, get a full one, just slap it right back on, you're good to go. This one, you have to have the chain. Uh, I think it originally came with 25. Yeah, 25. Um, the amount of chains that I have, uh, I have four chains, so it's uh, 100. And then, of course, you got the Hail Fire, which is a weird kind of blaster. <laughs> um, yeah, this part I'm not a fan of. Uh, the only reason you need this is to switch from magazine to magazine. They should have put something here, I think. Um, just so you don't have to reach up there. And then maybe like a, 
a foregrip pump that, that we like one that we put on the um, long shot the other day. Um, or just make this a, um, a, a revving trigger and a firing trigger. I don't know. It was early stages from back then. And then one of my favorite blasters, um, along with the Strife, is the Rapid Strike. Basically, it's just a bigger version of a Strife um, with a built in stock. Uh, I like the design of it, it's really comfortable um, and you can mod it pretty good. I don't think, I, I don't think I've, in turn, well, wait. Now, the only thing I did was I put a better pusher inside of one of mine and didn't really mess with the rest of it. Um, but you can make it, you know, take a uh, lipo and soup it up inside with wiring and all that fun stuff. I think the only thing I've done is put, uh, you know, rails up here and 3D printed pieces all around and railing up here, scopes, muzzles, you name it. It's, it's pretty fun. Um, we're just going to bypass that one. <laughs> <laughs> they should have thought longer on this one, just saying, because it's, is it a reverse? No, it's not a reverse, it's a, what would you call that? I guess just a forward prime? I don't know, but the priming in it is horrible. Um, yeah, I want to figure out how to fix that and try to figure out if it can ever take short darts, because if you can make that happen, this would be a really good um, sniper uh, rifle-esque uh, kind of thing. But until then, it's it's pretty bad. That's why I'm glad I got mine on sale. Oh, that's cool. Kind of tell you how, like, if you want to play a, a versus game or capture the flag, but kind of show you how it's set up. That's pretty good. Another Nitron Blaster. This is the only motorized one that they have, I believe. I have this um, scope just because I really liked it and I figured it would go on the um, other Vortex Blasters that I have. I kind of do want to get one of these because I know you can um, mod these to go really fast. And with the flying disc as is in the normal blasters, they don't fly real far. I mean, they're light, so they you know they hover kind of, but they kind of you know dip down and go whichever way the wind takes them, basically. But it's hard to hit anything with them. Uh, which one's this one? The Pyragon. They they remade this. Um, I have one. I think it's in blue and yellow or green or something. I don't have this one, but I've seen the inside and it is nuts how it works because the discs are facing that way. So the top's up here of the disc and the bottom's down here. But it needs to go up here, turn sideways, and then go out that way. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> this is the one I have, the Swarm Fire. Yeah, this one's real fun. Um, I think I took out all the posts in here. Um, I think I made it so it can take my um, cool look uh, rechargeable batteries and the dummy batteries. And it works pretty well. The only gripe I have on this is the power switch. Um, it would have been nice to have a rev trigger, but you know. But the um, detachable stock is really nice. Um, glad that it came with a one. And the accessories, of course, all your clip holders and, sorry, <laughs> magazine holders. Your drums, your dart, dart clip, uh, storage bins, scopes, sights, belts, lanyards, whatever you want. There's millions out there now. And not just from uh, Nerf, so to say, it's more for, uh, you know, like the stuff that we make if, as modders. I finally got one of these. I was happy about that. Kind of want to get that just because I don't have it. <laughs> Same thing with this. Um, Vortex disc clip. A variety of stocks, barrels, some shields. I think I have two of these now, maybe? Or at least one. And then more. What blaster is that? Huh. Oh, that's the one that I don't have. Okay, so this is that Vortex Blaster that I don't have. So basically it looked like the same as a uh, Praxis, but 
apparently these are glowing the dark discs and I guess when you put this into the blaster the extra battery power illuminates those or just shines a light on to make them glow in the dark okay here's the timeline okay that's pretty cool so you got the ball you got the basketball hoop over here nerf soccer ball okay yeah they need to bring this kind of stuff back they would definitely sell i'm just saying uh this not so much <laughs> um air tech yeah and then we get into more modern stuff super soaker i know you can uh mod uh certain super soakers to sh shoot a dart or something i have an idea of what kind of mod i'm going to do next and it does involve one of their super soakers i just have to a find one and b it needs to be fairly cheap because um the, i mean the mod of it you can it's it's a it's not a permanent mod it's just something you stick in the front uh put a rocket on it and that's it um but i think you can either a use a rocket or b uh one of the um nerf mega xl make uh extra large uh darts so that's what i'm thinking i need to find it so that's that's the hard part but once i get one it'll be pretty easy to mod and it'll be a, it, just the looks of it looks really cool okay there's the index and i think that's it <laughs> okay they're coming nice very nice very cool all right hope you guys like that just a little glimpse to the book there nothing most of us don't already know but you know it's a cool little guide but yeah, somebody please, if they haven't already, I haven't really looked, but somebody please um, make an encyclopedia or um, something. Um, not necessarily an encyclopedia. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> one with pictures, because everybody likes pictures. And then, of course, the information on all of them. But something starting from, I guess, the beginning, which was, what, 1960? Yeah, 1960 till now, and then make that volume one, and then maybe, what is it, you know, like 50 years from now, well, can't ask that, <laughs> I would say every 10 years since we've been slacking, but yeah, um, I think that'd be really cool, um, but yeah, that's the video for today, um, not really sure what I have planned tomorrow, um, I do need to start putting blasters out of their cages and stuff um, for that really long video of all the blasters that I have all, all around the house. Um, so I may take a day or two off. I don't know. De depends on how long it takes me to... Because I, I not only have to take the blaster out, but I have to take the accessories for out, of course. They're not going to be loaded, but it'll look like they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll 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 see how that works. Um, yeah, that's all I got for now. I don't know what's uh, gonna be, but yeah, um, I'm getting the blasters out um, slowly but surely, just to make that large video. And um, I'm also working on a TikTok video, but I think the max on a TikTok video is three minutes. And what I'm gonna try to do is get a picture of each of my blasters and then it's just going to go through really quick hopefully capturing all of them in three minutes so we'll see anyways um if you guys have any questions um leave them down below uh in the comments um i'll link this book um in the description i think i got it on amazon um, but please like, follow, share, and subscribe if you're not already, guys. And I will see you maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, depending. If I don't see you tomorrow, um, I'll, let's see, tomorrow's Friday. I'll probably see you on Monday because this whole weekend I'm going to get all these blasters out on the floor. And then uh, hopefully by then I'll have something to, to go over or talk about. <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah. See you guys. Monday. Bye.